Okay, so there's been a lot of talk recently from Microsoft and in the press all about what Microsoft is going to support in terms of Windows 11 and old hardware. First, it was going to be that um, you could install, but you know there were all these caveats and you had to be careful and you might not get updates, blah, 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 all these various things. Then Microsoft said, no, we're not even going to let you install if you don't have at least TPM 2.0 and perhaps also newer processors. But definitely the TPM 2.0 seemed to be a big thing that they made a, a, um, a point about. Then only like maybe a week later, they backtracked and said, no, we're still going to allow, you can do TPM 1.2, but... Uh, we're going to put something like uh, a wallpaper saying, hey, this you're running it on unsupported software and, or excuse me, hardware and you might have issues and so forth. So what I thought I would do is see exactly what happens when I take the latest and greatest, which is the uh, 24H2 Windows 11, install it on a g1 which is uh, you know elite desk um 800 g1 mini this one definitely only has uh tpm 1.2 i actually went in and confirmed that i, I booted uh, this into a windows 11 disk that i use for all my uh, testing but i'm going to install fresh windows 11 on here it's a uh, 16 gig unit uh, I think it's got an i5, I think it's a 4592, which, excuse me, 4590T, which is a quad-core processor. So we're going to see what happens when I do the install, what kind of messages come up, what it looks like. Do I get this weird um, wallpaper? Um, you know, does it still run? Do I get, you know, during the running, do I have to do a lot of stuff in order for it? Because... In the past, I haven't had any issues. So, but that was slight. That was older versions of Windows 11. So we're going to see what happens when I do it with the most current, based on all the back and forth that uh, Microsoft's been putting out. I started out my adventure by just going on to Google and typing in Windows 11 ISO because I wanted to get an ISO that I could. Uh, utilize with uh, my Ventoy uh, boot disk so that now I can pick it and be able to go on and, and do the install. Uh, the place you want to go to is this download Windows 11. I'll include a link. And when you go on there, there's a couple different ways. They've got this installation assistant. Um, they've got this create Windows 11 installation media. Um, but what I did was uh, download Windows 11 disk image and at the top uh, it does say that it's going to be the version uh, 24H2 which, which, which we're looking for. Uh, I picked uh, Windows 11 multi-edition ISO. Download now. I thought, let's see. Oh, well, I guess it just goes. Oh, well, here it is. Uh, it asks also, you know, which language. I'm just going to do English, uh, United States, confirm, and then that's going to download the ISO. And then I took that ISO and stuck it on a Ventoy disk that I had. You could also use something like Rufus to make a bootable installer. Uh, but now that we've got this, we can run through the actual uh, installation. Okay, I've got my Ventoy screen. And I'll find my, here we go, 24H2 English. And we'll let it uh, start up. See if we get any kind of uh, messages. All right, now this install should see that I have a, a Windows key embedded on that. So that's one thing we're, we are gonna check. Okay, uh, language, time and currency, just de defaults to English US, um, keyboard, uh, we want to install Windows 11, we don't want to, uh, okay, we're going to delete everything. It may be, it, uh, I was using a disk that uh, got off of that um, 
HP Elite Slice that uh, didn't work. Uh, so I'm pulling the disc off. I don't know, maybe it's seen something on there. That's why it says on this. But in either way, we'll just go with the uh, uh, install Windows 11. Huh. Interesting. It doesn't see the product key, which is not um, not a positive. Let me check something. Well, my particular unit does not have a, um, a key on the outside. I was hoping, it does say that it has Windows 8. I was hoping that that would be enough. I know with later um, units, uh, it would see it. But we're gonna go ahead anyway. We're gonna pick the, um, I don't have a product key. It'll still do the install. It's just that it's going to say that you don't have an activated one. You know, I'm going to, I've got other um, keys if I really wanted to keep that particular activation or I'll just delete it. Okay, we'll just say I don't have a product key. Uh, we do want Windows 11 Pro. Okay, the usual accept. So it looks like it's seeing... Um, the existing uh, disk here. So I'm just gonna clean out a bunch of stuff. Okay, that should give all the unallocated space on that drive, perfect. Okay, uh, obviously you don't wanna touch the Ventoy. So we'll say next, all right, and go for it. Well, so far we haven't gotten anything that seem to complain about the type of machine. So we'll see as we go along um, and we'll, uh, we'll pause it and that way we can uh, jump into the future. <laughs> I'm tr starting to remember, um, now it's quite possible when it comes to the Windows key that I may have possibly on this unit or maybe one of the G1s, I thought I installed maybe Windows 10 and then did an upgrade from that and then that seemed to, to take the key. So I don't know if maybe just going directly to it is an issue, but uh, again, for this exercise, I'm more interested in seeing what it does when it um, encounters uh, older hardware. Well, it got through the first phase. Now it's installing some portion here and then it's going to do a little bit uh, presumably I guess some more reboots as it goes along okay now we're going to go through the normal um, types of stuff where you pick uh, you know country you um, uh, put in your Microsoft account etc uh, etc et so um, I'm just going to run through this and uh, if I encounter anything that looks um, different I'll, I'll show that to you I guess it was looking for additional updates and so it's going to reboot again even though I've got the latest ISO that I can think of. Uh, maybe there's updates to the actual installer or something like that. Well this is interesting. It's I guess it found some other updates to the actual Windows itself. I don't know. Uh, I mean um, this was supposed to be the latest and greatest ISO. So I guess we'll see once it gets through everything, but uh, you do have to endure this as it's going through to uh, uh, find more stuff to, I guess, download. Yeah, that, uh, that section does take a little bit of time, uh, maybe, I don't know, 10, 15 minutes, depending, I guess, your connection and such. Now it's gonna, Oh, well, I guess it's going through and doing some more, more updating before getting, I mean, and this is not even it, you know, finishing up, but uh, uh, we'll see what happens. Okay, I got through the uh, setup portion. I guess it's, it's uh, finishing up a few things. We'll see what, uh, you know, if we get this weird, you know, uh, wallpaper, etc. <laughs> well, we're in. Um, and you can see that we are running 24H2, uh, so latest and greatest, and I don't see anything on the wallpaper. Um, it looked like my Windows activated um, because I logged in with my Microsoft account and somehow everything 
I don't know if because of that, but it does say that uh, my product actually is um, uh, activated. See, activation stayed active, so I'm okay. I yeah, I don't know if uh, if that's you know if it's seeing other ones I've got or something, but uh, um, you know I'll take it. Um, but yeah, I I don't see an issue and. Um, if I go into um, device security, I'll show you that um, I've got TPM 1.2. Uh, so here's device security, security processor, processor details. There it is, 1.2. I don't know, you know, I kept hearing that they were going to put some sort of thing on the wallpaper. Uh, I don't know if then I don't think this is the Bing wallpaper because I think you have to install that uh, directly in order to get it. Um, but it looks fine to me. Um, if I go, let's see, task manager, you know, CPU, i5, 4590T. I guess I could try seeing what happens when I ask to do, um, you know, for check for updates. Well, interesting enough, it already found updates uh, that it wants to put on, um, you know, even Intel driver and all these other things. Um, I didn't ask even for them. They were already set to go. Okay, just to show or prove to myself that I'm pretty sure that it shouldn't ask for the product key, I'm going to do this on a unit that's the, the HP 260 uh, G1, because uh, I'm pretty sure that one inside uh, the, the licensing has an actual Windows 10 license. So we're gonna see what happens with this one. Blow away, let's see. I'm actually going to just, I'm, I'm basically reinstalling again to the same um, SSD that I had before, but instead I'm you know, obviously doing this on this other other unit. Okay, I picked the, the drive, I deleted all the, the existing partitions. Let's see what it does now. Okay, ready to install. Ah, you notice that time it did not ask, didn't even ask what version I wanted. It just said, we're going to install Windows 11, which I'm assuming it's going to install Windows 11 Pro, but um, it didn't ask for the license uh, because I had the embedded. So it must be that G1, I guess, just has a Windows 8 license. And so I guess it kind of depends on what you've got, you know, depending on when you bought uh, the particular units. Conceivably, a, uh, a G2 should already have at least, I would think, maybe a Windows 10 license. Um, but uh, again, your mileage may vary, as they say. So you can kind of see what uh, is gonna be allowed uh, to be able to actually put Windows 11 without having to you know, buy another license on it. I'm just gonna let this go through. We'll double check on this one. Um, you know, again, make sure this unit, I don't even know if you can see that it has a TPM. Um, I'm, I've been working with so many different units, I can't remember if I enabled it on the thing. I guess we'll see once, once it gets installed. Well, another successful install on a G1 and a G1 that I believe should have a TPM 1.2. Let's ch double check that. Yep, to TPM 1.2. Um, there's no uh, watermark as I double checked and it, it claims that there was be some sort of watermark saying, hey, you're on um, you know uh, incompatible hardware. System menu doesn't you know yell at me either to say that I'm bad. Uh, product key, act, active, let's see, digital license. But again, th this particular one, I believe the license came from the actual unit. So as opposed to any anywhere else. But again, you know, just 
This is great. Um, I, I'm sure I could probably get updates on this also. And, um, you know, yeah, I'm run, running the um, that latest and greatest, that uh, 24H2. So, yeah, there's there was a lot of back and forth. I, I've even seen some articles that are now claiming, well, when, you know, Microsoft never vacillated and there was, um, I don't know, uh, press releases that came out that were wrong and people misinterpreted. But however it is, if you look at the actual Microsoft stuff, it is it does talk about things like watermarks. It does talk about incompatibility. Um, but, uh, you know, I'm not seeing it. Um, I, maybe when we get closer to that, um, was it the October of next year, of uh, 2025, uh, when Windows 10 support goes out, then maybe they'll start being a little harder. Um, but at the same time, I think they really want people on Windows 11. So I seems like it'd make more sense to have more people on the same platform.